All right. I'm sitting here and I was getting bored sitting out in the garage, so I decided I was going to make a little squirrel feeder. Uh, the plan is to make it look like uh, a little dovetail log cabin with, uh, you know, how they have the chinking in between the boards. I was going to grind that out with a Dremel and then paint it white in there to make it make it look like that from a distance. So make it look like a little log cabin uh, squirrel feeder. Uh, this piece, I'm going to round it over, and I'm going to try and make it look like bushes. And then I'm going to attach it to the front so it looks like, like hedges or something in front of uh, the cabin. And hopefully the, the feed comes down and pulls up in there. Um, if you're looking at this thing, she's looking pretty rough right now. Basically, it's cedar boards. It's 11 and a half to the peak here on the back side. And then this is a 15 degree angle. I cut a 15 degree angle on the front and the front is just a little over uh, 10 and 5 eighths and uh, the other side the same as the other side <laughs> but on the, the sides here I put uh, 45 degree angles and then I put glue on there and then I use three finish nails to hold it together and then this part I got the 45s on there obviously so it can uh, attach on like that and we'll see how this ends up looking maybe i won't like it at all and maybe no one will see this video <laughs> time will tell all right i'm gonna get working on it and we'll see how this turns out all right i got a little further on the squirrel feeder since the uh, last little segment of video i shot um i got the grooves cut in with the Dremel tool and I painted them white. Um, I took a piece of Lexan here. I bought this at uh, Home Depot. It was pretty cheap. I think it was three bucks, three dollars and some change for the square of plastic that I bought. Um, and basically to put that in, I took it and I glued little strips of hobby boards in there. Uh, they sell these in the hobby section. I bought these at Menards, actually. But I uh, cut them down, and I glued them in. I shoved the piece of Lexon in there. So the Lexon is actually flush with the outer edge of this little log front here. And then I just glued some more pieces on that kind of act as trim and kind of hold that in there. Um, I think that will do a good job doing that. Because I'm actually going to take another piece, probably this piece, and put uh, some holes in it. And I'm going to screw it into the back side here. So that way the corn and the feed kind of pushes up against this. And there, you know, it won't be pushing out on this since, you know, it's only wood glue. I have no metal fasteners holding this in. But uh, that's the plan with that part. Um, I made a little uh, little base here how this is gonna work um, I actually cut a piece of uh, a metal I bought this at uh, Menards and I usually use it for my bird feeder projects but uh, you see I cut a slot out of there I'm gonna screw this metal down here and then this will get screwed on I already got some holes pre pre drilled um, and basically I, this is a piece of cedar and I put walnut uh, dark stain on it Not sure how that's gonna hold up out in the elements But I wanted something to offer some contrast and here's uh, the front hedge I was talking about and you can see how I cut little grooves in it and I'm gonna screw that on and then I got a back over here Woo! That this is gonna get screwed onto the back of the thing, and then this will be uh, mounted to the to the tree or whatnot. And I'll have to show you the roof when I'm done with it because I haven't quite designed the roof yet. But uh, we will. And I got a little uh, glue I got to clean up. I noticed that I just got home and this is my first look at it since I glued that on. So I'll get chopping on that and we'll see how this thing turns out. All right, now it's ready to hang up and put in a tree. I still gotta clean it up a little bit, but uh, 
I didn't really have much for roof materials and these hinges are less than ideal. How I did it, I cut a little angle back here and this was all I had for hinges. So I wanted to make this work without having to run over to the store. But uh, this is a piece of old barn wood we had from a building up north. But uh, yeah, you look down, the water should be able to drain out of there. Um, if you notice, which I doubt anyone would, but uh, I actually, because I, I measured it before in the video, I cut it short because the proportions I just didn't like. So now it's 10 inches from the top of the board here to the bottom. So 10 inches and that's a 15 degree angle. So I had to change that measurement because it just proportionally didn't look right. All right, I'll go hang it in the tree and see if I can get some footage of squirrels eating out of it.